This question is about rectangular hyperbole and finding the equations of tangents uh, and their intersections. So um, let's start off. We're told that we have a rectangular hyperbola, H, and it has Cartesian equation x, y is 9. We are given points on the line. P is, uh, P is 3P, 3 over P. They're the parametric form. And Q is 3Q, uh, 3 over Q. So they're the exact same, but we're told P is not equal to positive or negative Q. Uh, okay? So we're asked to show the equation of the tangent of P is X plus P squared Y is 6P. Now, firstly, um, I, I, I always draw a picture for these. Let's just draw a, a small picture up here. Now, we know that a rectangular hyperbola looks something like this. Right? And we're going to say that P, let's just say for argument's sake, P is here. And let's for argument's sake say Q is here. Okay? And P is the point 3P, 3 over P. And Q is the point 3Q, 3 over Q. And we're asked to show the equation of the tangent of P is that. So the equation of the tangent, we're looking to find that there. Now we know we are going to use the formula y minus y1 is mx minus x1 because that's the form of the equation of any straight line. Now do we know an x1, y1 on this line? Well certainly we do. x1, y1, the points on the line, well they must be point p. p p's the only point we know is on the line. So that's 3p, 3 over p. So we even get a mark for just stating that. The thing we really need to find out is the m, the gradient here. And we're going to do that by differentiating the curve, working out the gradient of the tangent at that point. So, we have that xy is equal to 9. Let's make y the subject. y is therefore 9 divided by x. And you could write that in index form before you differentiate as 9x to the power of negative 1. Therefore, dy by dx, the way you differentiate polynomials, you can bring down the negative 1 and reduce the power. So it would be negative 9x to the minus 2. Okay, And just what does that mean before we're going to substitute into it? It means negative 9 divided by x squared. Right. Now that is the gradient at any point on the curve. We want it particularly at the point P, uh, which is x is 3P, y is 3 over P. So we're going to work out dy by dx. Right, it, we've got dy of the x in terms of x, so we're going to substitute in the x value, 3p. Right, so we're going to get negative 9 over 3p all squared, which is negative 9 over 9p squared, which will end up being negative 1 over p squared, if you cancel the 9s. Now that's the gradient of the tangent at that point. So, I'm just going to continue my work along here. We're going to use this equation, y minus y1 is m, x minus x1. So y minus y1, 3 over p, is going to equal m, which is negative 1 over p squared, x minus x1, so x minus 3 over p, x subtract, sorry, 3p. Now, rearranging this, we'll get it in the form they ask. Easiest thing to do, I'd say, is multiply everything by p squared. So we get p squared y subtract 3p squared over p, which is just subtract 3p, is equal to negative, and then we're going to negative x subtract 3p. Okay, then we're going to just expand that bracket. So that'd be negative x plus 3p. And the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add x to both sides and add 3p, and I'm going to get, as required, x plus p squared y is equal to 6p. And that's exactly what I was looking for, for four marks. Now it says write down the equation of the tangent at Q for one mark. Now it doesn't want us to rework this all out. If that's the tangent at P and the coordinates of P are 3P, 3 over P, then the tangent at Q with the very similar form uh, coordinates is just going to be the exact same thing as this, but just P replaced by Q. So you can write down straight away X plus Q squared Y is equal to 6Q. Okay, so that's the equation of the tangent at uh, the point Q. Okay, next part, it says the tangent at the point P and the tangent at the point Q intersect at R 
Find a single fractions in their simplest form, the coordinates of r in terms of p and q. So let's just again, just a quick picture to describe what's going on, but we virtually had this picture before. Here's the rectangular hyperbola. We have a point P and a point Q. So say, let's say here's P and here's Q. And their um, tangents meet at the point R. So maybe their tangents here, maybe they meet over here, let's say, at the point R. Okay. Now we know from previous parts the equations of each of these tangents. The equations of each of these tangents are, um, this one here is x squared um, plus p, uh, sorry, it's x plus p squared y is 6p, so this is x plus p squared y is 6p, and we know this one here is x plus q squared y is 6q. Okay, so we're trying to find where these two lines uh, intersect. So they're basically two simultaneous equations, so let's write them down. x plus p squared y is 6p, and x plus q squared y is 6q. Sorry, that should be, that should be a p there. Okay, now we're trying to solve these simultaneously. There's equation 1, there's equation 2. The easiest thing in my mind is to take equation 1 and subtract equation 2 because then the x's would be eliminated and we'd get p squared, uh, p squared y subtract q squared y is equal to 6 uh, p subtract 6q then we can uh, factorise, factorise out the y p squared minus q squared is equal to, factorise this side, 6 take out the factor of 6, p subtract q now you know that p squared minus q squared is a difference of two squares, so y, p squ uh, that would be p minus q, p plus q, is equal to 6, p subtract q. And now we know that we were told earlier on that p cannot equal q or it's negative, so therefore you can divide both sides by p subtract q, and then you can divide both sides by p plus q, so y must be 6 divided by p plus q, and that is y in terms of p and q. Now to get x um, in terms of p and q, you would just substitute this back into one of the equations and uh, work it out. So we would substitute this, let's say, back into this equation, so we'd get x plus p squared 6 over p plus q is equal to 6p, and uh, we're trying to find uh, we're trying to find um, x here, so um, if you subtract this off both sides, so we would have 6p subtract 6p squared over p plus q. Okay, to subtract fractions, they need to have the same denominator, so multiply 6p on top and bottom by p plus q, so we'd have 6p p plus q subtract 6p squared all over p plus q. And if you multiply this out, you'd get 6p squared plus 6pq minus 6p squared. So you'd just be left with 6pq on the top, p plus q on the bottom. There's your x, there's your y. State them and you're done.